In our latest installment of Reporter's Notebook, we head to Canada. Gas producers and households there were both hit hard in 2015. And with low gas prices and record household debt, they may continue to suffer in the new year. CCTV's Christian Yeo reports. Two thousand and fourteen saw the price of oil almost halve in a matter of months, and while drivers may have been celebrating, the Canadian oil sector wasn't. OPEC said it wouldn't prop up prices by cutting supplies, so Canadian producers will have to cut costs if they're to stay profitable next year. The Canadian government still has huge ambitions for the oil sector, including the controversial pipelines Keystone XL and Northern Gateway, both of which face opposition at home and abroad. But as the world looks to a new climate change pact in Paris next December, some say Canada risks missing out on a carbon neutral economy of the future. Even Canada's biggest consumer of oil by far, the United States, is reconsidering its relationship with the black stuff. It's not just weaker demand for oil that has Canadian economists concerned. Another threat is much closer to home. Household debt hit a record high this summer, despite calls from the Bank of Canada for consumers to borrow less. It's all been fueled by the housing market, which many say was overinflated. And while the Bank of Canada can put off interest rate rises, that's about all it can do to wade off a potential property price collapse. And with so much consumer credit leveraged on the Canadian housing market, many here say that this is a bubble waiting to burst. This is Christian Yeo with my reporter's notebook in Toronto.